This is SAT test 8, calculator question number 36. College Board gives us a triangle RST and asks for point W on the hypotenuse, what is the value of the cosine of angle RSW minus the sine of angle WST? Since there is only one correct answer, or at least that's what the question implied, I'm going to choose a point. I'm going to choose a convenient point. Let's bisect angle S, where this is 45 degrees and this is 45 degrees. So this would be point W. In that case, the cosine of 45 degrees minus the sine of WST, which is also 45 degrees, that is root 2 over 2 minus root 2 over 2 equals 0. So 0 would be my answer. What if I had chosen a different angle? Let's try one more convenient angle. How about, let's make this 30 degrees and this 60 degrees. Cosine of angle RSW is cosine of 60 degrees and sine of angle WST is sine of 30 degrees. Cosine of 60 degrees is one half. Sine of 30 degrees is also one half. Again, I got zero. I could stop after either one of these calculations, or I could look at the abstract reason why I'm getting zero. On the SAT, I'm under time pressure. I'm not going to worry about the abstract reason, but since we have time to plan ahead, let's look at what's happening. Let's just choose an arbitrary point W, and I'll call this angle X. This other angle here is 90 degrees minus X. And what I'm saying is the cosine of X degrees equals the sine of 90 minus X in degrees. And that is one of our trig identities. Cosine literally comes from cosine for complement sine. So if you know the word origin origin for cosine is the complement sine, in other words, the sine of the complement, this should be true by definition from the word origin or by definition from the formula we saw in our geometry class. In any case, the difference between these two functions is zero. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.